afternoon Trojans. On today's show, we have Honor, a fallen Trojan. Also on the program, we'll have information on colleges visiting the school. This and more coming up on Trojan TV News. Good afternoon Trojans, I'm Colton Beagle. And I'm Hannah Montenegro. It's Monday, April 1st, 2024, and here are your top news and announcements. It's a sad day for the Trojan community as we mourn the loss of one of our own. Kevin Adero was killed in a car accident over the weekend. Students and staff that are in need of grief counseling can go to the Counseling Center for support. Trojan TV News offers this moment of silence and remembrance of Kevin. Thank you. Representatives from the following colleges will be at school for students to visit. On Tuesday, April 2nd, Williamswood University will be here at 2 p.m. Students can sign up using the QR code located on the bulletin board outside the Counseling Center or go on the document on Schoology. I had a nice spring break with the weather. Do you know if it's going to be nice today? No, I don't, but I know someone who does. Let's send it over to D Dawson Bean to find out more. Thanks, Anna and Colden. I'm Dawson Bean, back with the weather. Let's take a look at our current forecast. So right now, it's going to be around our high with 76 degrees. Today, there's going to be a big chance of thunderstorms and even some severe weather. The low is around 45 degrees, so at the nighttime, uh, make sure you got a little bit of a jacket on if you're outside or anything like that. But let's take a look at our severe weather. So today, there is some chances of severe weather, such as tornadoes and some big thunderstorms. We got large hail, strong winds, possible tornado, big lightning, and I would prepare by charging your phones, gas up your cars, cars in your garage in case of that hail, clear a spot in your basement to hide in case of a tornado. But let's take a look at our seven day forecast. So the past few days have been really beautiful up in the 70s, but over these next few days with the w w severe weather coming in, there's going to be a little bit of a cold front. It's going to drop back down into the 50s, and then throughout the week it's going to start to raise back up getting into those 60s, pushing back into the 70s, and even with some rain, there's not going to be a cold front. It's going to stay up in those warm temperatures. So other than that, let's send it back to the desk. Thanks, Dawson. Hey, Hannah, do you know if there's any sports coming up this week? I don't know, but Leah does. Let's send it over to her with more. Thanks, Colton and Hannah. We had several Trojan teams in action over the spring break, and I'll have the results over the next couple of days. I'll start with the baseball team. The Trojans took on Fort Osage on March 22nd and lost to the Indians 9-2. They hosted Raymore Peculiar on March 27th. The Trojans lost to the Panthers 7-0. They hit the road on March 13th and took on Central from St. Joseph in a doubleheader. The team lost the first game 9-8 but came back and defeated the Indians 8-1 in the second game. The team sits at 3-6 and six on the season. I'll have more sports results from spring break on tomorrow's show. Coming up on the Trojans Varsity Sports calendar for today, the golf team is competing in the Oak Park invite today. The Trojans, the track and field travel over to Liberty for a quad starting at 4 p.m. and the baseball team hosts daily for a game starting at 5 p.m. That's it for your Trojans Sports Report. I'm Leah Irving. Now back to Colton and Hannah. Thanks, Leah. The following clubs and activities have meetings this week. The gaming club meets today after school in room 27, and tomorrow Common Ground meets after school in room 112. Today is the last day to sign up for the blood drive. You can use the QR code off one of the posters or see Nurse Ashley. Remember, if you are 16 years old, you need a permission slip. That's it for your show today. I'm Colton Beagle. And I'm Hannah Montenegro. Have a great rest of your day, Trojans.